I think up here I'm actually gonna do like a dedicated park though. I I kind of I kind of want to. I kind of just want to do like a, a proper little park area. So uh, let's just paint that right in here. And let's just do... Oh, that actually painted in very strangely there. Let's not worry too much about it. Then we'll go like this. We'll go up a little bit. And uh, there we go. That's going to be Belmont Grounds, which is a lovely name for a park. Uh, let's see then. Belmont Grounds is going to be... It's just going to be a city park, I suppose. Uh, so we'll do a main park gate, which unfortunately isn't going to fit central. Uh, shame, 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 shame. Um, oh, we can do a small main gate. I always forget about that. There we go. So a small main gate there, 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 and there. We can connect those together. I guess we'll just do the normal path for this part. Going to connect it up there as well. Which is fine, I guess. That kind of works. We'll bring a path across the middle too. And we'll say, let's do a... Let's do a plaza. And a plaza. And then maybe... A cafe in the middle? Can I do a fence along, along, the, uh, along the plazas? No. Okay, well in that case... I mean, I want my fence. Definitely want the fence. So let's uh, let's just get that around here. Because the fence is kind of the important part. The fence is the whole reason you have a park. Let's be real. Let's let's not, you know, let's not forget why we why we have the park at all. The fence is uh, is the most important part. I think I will just do a, a solid sort of corner there instead of curving it at the back. So that'll work. We can do a little bit of decoration in here, I think. So we'll go for like a, I don't know, a tree. And uh, a tree. And then the park itself, I think, well, we can't get a plaza back there. We can get a cafe, though. And we can get another one there. We get some restrooms right in the middle. And uh, we got an info booth, which can sort of go there and can sort of go there and then trees I think there's a bunch of trees in here to make the park look nice make it look all all grown and all uh, all natural because that's what I want from this area I want it to look all natural like also I don't know why I've got the game paused while I'm doing that I have I really have that habit still of just constantly pause oh I know why I had it paused I actually did need it paused that time. Because uh, we have a bunch of buildings that are not going to have the uh, the water that they want. So that'll be why it was paused. Uh, do that and do... Let's see, do that kind of thing. Yeah, that'll work. It, it looks like an overgrown mess, but that's fine. Uh, we are actually going to need more... We are straight up going to need more water for uh, for the entire city. I think we still have a water pump that we can turn on, though. I think I still need to turn one of those on. So that's fine. We can, uh, we can manage. Let's have you go there. Let's have you get disconnected for a second. Come down to here. All the way across and up to there. And uh, right there. Okay. So that will give all that space water. We are going to need to go down here and turn you on, though. So there we go. So they should all have water. And all those residential buildings will start coming together. And I'm hopeful that we'll see some cool stuff. I'm hopeful. Oh, sewage is also a problem. Alrighty. We can fix that. In fact, we could probably upgrade sewage a little bit to have the, uh, the eco water outlets. Might be a better idea, actually. We still haven't got these ones, but the eco water outlets might... Might just do us a favor. Let's also try and, uh... Try and space these out a little bit. So one... Uh... Two... And, uh... Three. And four. We'll do four of them. Gonna need to connect those a little better. Obviously. Because, uh... 
I mean, in terms of power, they're kind of spread out now. Which isn't so good. But, I mean, we can do that. I guess we'll throw another turbine there. And I'll throw a turbine there, why not? So then all we need to do is really... Maybe just a dedicated turbine per thing. Or we just move this one. I can't click on it though. I can't actually click on anything right now. I can click on those. But I don't seem to be able to click on you. Which is weird. I can't even bulldoze it. Oh, I can bulldoze it. There we go. Bulldoze you. I think we're fine with three of them, right? They don't have as much uh, output, do they? 60,000 versus 120,000. Ah! Ah, okay. Two of them, please. Just like that. So that should solve our problems, right? Yeah, that solved our problems. Okay. That's fine. How's traffic looking? Still a little rough, but actually not... Not as bad as it was. Definitely not as bad as it was. Which I'm okay with. Definitely okay with that. Now, let's see. We... We are gonna need more buses. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe a bus line... I realize, actually, this, this road here should be going the other way, I think. Because we have two one-way roads going in exactly the same direction. I don't think that's going to do us any favors. But whatever. Let's, uh, let's get some buses that nicely loop around this area. Because, uh, that'll be... That'll be nice. It'll be nice to have that. So you can just get around there really easily. Apparently we're now at forestry level 3. We got a printing press. A large log yard. Don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. Uh, do we want some buses that maybe shuttle around this area too? I feel like we could maybe do with that. So maybe a bus that sort of... I don't know, just, just something that like... Kind of comes in here a little bit. You know, does its thing, shuttles around some of the upper parts and all that stuff. Kind of goes up to there. Comes back down. Cuts across into this side. Kind of comes into here. Just something that, like... One of those buses that you'd see going around a neighborhood that's kind of designed for, like, you know... Uh, the elderly, the, the, the disabled. You know, one of those buses that, like, a proper little service bus. You know, one of the buses with the low floors in it. There's a bunch of those actually go about my town, and they're... They're really great buses to have. Just something that will really help people get around the residential neighborhood and get to the main bus lines. I think that'll be nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and say that bus line 3, which is this one, is gonna be... Gonna go orange on that. Bright orange, and then bus line 2 can be... Sort of a... Very kind of pink color. So yeah, that'll help people sort of get about and get to the main bus lines. I can't imagine it's gonna be super busy. It is super busy. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, but we should see a bunch of uh, amazingly colorful buses coming out of here. I think. Oh yeah, there's the orange ones. The pink ones should be... Should be around soon. I realize I'm just adding to the traffic with more bus lines. I really am just adding to the traffic like crazy. Oh wow, this is actually just stopped. This is straight up stopped working. That's that's rough. That is uh that is a bit rough. Okay then. Uh any pink buses to be seen yet? Where is where is my bus depot? There it is. The bus line did save, right? It is yeah, it is pink. I don't see any of the buses, though. Oh, 
Oh well, it's it's probably fine. Uh, this traffic is actually starting to back up from the residential neighborhood at this point. I think the roundabout is failing me. Up here is fine. Up here is working perfectly. Uh, down here, not so much. I think the roundabout has uh, has served its purpose. I definitely think it served its purpose. Uh, so maybe... Maybe we want to find... Different ways. I mean, a lot of the traffic is going to the industrial zone. A lot of that is... Uh, I was actually going to say a lot of that's recycling trucks, but it's actually not. But the lack of recycling trucks moving about the city is, is causing some problems. It is causing some problems. Also, the fact that, you know, garbage is not actually being incinerated or destroyed as quickly as it should be. That is that is also causing some problems. But there we go. We'll add a bunch more garbage trucks to the roads because that's what we need. You know, more trucks. And I reckon this just needs changed into something else. I don't think I want to turn it into a clover leaf. But it needs to be something a bit more efficient than a roundabout. Because roundabouts in base game city skylines don't actually work all that well. I say that, this is actually starting to clear out and it is actually moving. But they it, they just, they're not great. Roundabouts in the base game are not great. You kind of need traffic manager. You kind of need, well, network extensions can be great for them as well. Because you can get different types of road. But... I mean, it seems to be clearing out. This is actually starting to get quite busy. Which is a bit of a concern. So what if we were to go in here and say, let's paint a district. Because what I'm thinking is that we maybe want to say that that central section is its own district. Actually, in saying that, this outer bit kind of needs to be its own district as well. We'll do that in a second. I think this central bit needs to be its own district. And is going to need to have like an old time policy on it. Because traffic is sort of, you know, it's sort of cutting through there. I kind of would rather the traffic used this uh, this road that I'm cutting the, the district off of here. So instead of cutting through, it sticks to these roads out here. So Pearl District is going to need old time. So what we should see is any traffic not going to somewhere in here will start using this road here instead. This uh, this road that circles it. Which is perfect. I'm also thinking probably not a bad idea to go in here and say, you know, let's get some grass on these roads. Because that's going to stop people from parking along, uh, along this ring road. Which is kind of something we do want to stop. We don't really want to see too many people parking on this road. It's gonna it's gonna be a busy road. It's gonna be a very, very busy road. So there we go. And there as well. Let's do trees on that one. Actually, let's not. But there we go. We're immediately pushing that traffic around the district. The traffic's going to wherever it needs to go via different means, which is perfect. And that is exactly what I wanted to see. That is exactly what I wanted. I'm wondering if I should do the same here as well, then. Have, like, three different industrial districts and say, you know, don't go here if you don't need to. Might not be a bad idea. Or even two different industrial districts. Sort of cut down the middle here. Because, well, I, I say that. I, I don't know how useful that would actually be. I'm not sure if that would be useful. And again, traffic is, it's, it's kind of moving. It is kind of moving, and if I start moving my industrial uh, zoning around a little bit, that'll that'll do us more favors. So let's actually come in here, and let's actually try and build like a little industrial space along the river. Because that seems like a fair idea. We do need to get more residential in here as well. That's going to be a whole thing. But I kind of want industrial space along the river. I also really want to expand this and get more housing. You know what? Maybe we do that. Maybe we try and go for the city center first instead of more more industry. Because, I mean, we do have a lot of stuff here that we could play with. The Grand Mole could look 
interesting in the middle, I suppose. Uh, let's see. What else we got? The serving services offices could look interesting in the middle. It's all very expensive, though. It's all very expensive. 200,000 for that. Got some stadiums. I mean... There's plenty to choose from. I might do the Colossal Order offices, actually. I wonder if I could get it central. I reckon I could. I reckon I could. Let's do a little one-way road here. So 10 up to there. And uh, 10 to there. And like that. And then Colossal Order offices. Boom. Right in the middle. I like that. I actually like that a lot. That's quite neat. Uh, can we do something like this? We totally can. And something like that. There we go. That works. Nice and simple. Nothing too over the top. We can do some, some kind of park in there. Some kind of fences around it. I don't know. Let's actually just go ahead and do that right away. Let's say small park main gate there. Uh, we can do this whole area as uh, as Victoria Grounds is what it'll be. And it'll just be a nice little park surrounding the Colossal Order offices right there. Alrighty. So let's get the uh, let's get the additional gates in here on either side. Uh, we'll go for there as well, I think. I will say this is going to be a bit of a weird looking park because it's not going to be... I mean, it's not going to be much, you know, it's not going to be super decorative or anything. I'm just kind of doing doing this so I can get some, some fences around it, really. Because I think surrounding this area in, in fences is just going to make it look a little bit more official. You know, I think that's, I think it's going to make it look a little bit more, a little bit more serious, you know. Like the, uh, like the offices are, yeah, they, they mean business. They, uh, they mean business. Let's see, go down to there. Maybe have the, uh, have the fences go up about that far. And, uh, maybe have the fences, yeah, go up about that far. Alright, that kind of works. We'll keep it nice and simple. Doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be over the top. We'll do some decoration around it eventually, but that... You know, as as a middle thing goes, like that's that's quite neat. I think that's quite cool, and that'll hopefully attract some people to the city at some point. But first, before we attract anybody else, we're gonna need roads. Oh, we're gonna need roads, because I want, I really want to have like my city center. I want to build it out from this. I want this to be like sort of the core of it, because this road comes in really nicely, and maybe we should build the city center off of this road as well. But this road comes in really nicely, and it kind of leads around really nicely, and... I'm just quite happy with it. I also missed some zoning there. Bit awkward. Definitely a little bit awkward missing that, but, uh... That'll fill up in no time at all. Yeah, I just- I want to build the city center right from that and have this be like... You know, the suburbs and all that stuff. And I also want to get more... I do want to get more industry, but I don't want to just build it off of this. If anything, I'd like to get rid of half of this and uh, build another industrial zone, like I said, sort of down here. Or out here. I'm, I'm kind of limiting myself a little bit. We could build more industry out here and have it be way out of the city. Because we can do offices as well. Uh, not offices. We can do more warehouses, you know? We could put some, some warehouses or warehouse yards in and around the place. Just store all sorts of different things. There's really, there's all sorts of options. There really are all sorts of options. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking at this space and thinking that this might be a good one. Because it is, it's relatively flat. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. Let's do, uh, let's do an industrial space here. So let's go... $1,800, let's do road guidelines. And eighteen hundred dollars, and I'm just gonna do two of them, and it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same style that we've already done, so it's gonna be this sort of 
little, little square thing going on. And it's just going to loop around really nicely. And uh, I think what we'll do is have a bit of a bigger road right in the middle. So something like that. And it can actually connect to the highway up here. So we can just do another big sort of interchange right there. And that'll work. That'll that'll give us a connection. It'll, you know, it'll uh, connect into here and it might cause a few issues. I might actually want to connect it over there, honestly. But uh, we'll see about that. We'll definitely see about that. Uh, let's just first get the get the road in here. Bulldoze you and get these guys connected. So there and there, I think. Alrighty. This is actually not going to line up as nicely as I hoped it would. That's a little annoying. Okay. Does this look decent? That actually does. Okay. That'll be perfect. And that'll be a couple of uh, industrial areas, I suppose. I guess I could do a little road there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. This is probably going to be an absolute nightmare for traffic as well. But at this point, that's kind of just my thing with City Skylines, isn't it? That's 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 just kind of my uh, <laughs> that's my aesthetic at this point, I guess. You know, like if I had if I had to describe myself and give myself an aesthetic in City Skylines, it would probably just be a uh, traffic nightmare. That's that's kind of my thing. That is uh, that is that is kind of my thing. Uh, let's do that, and let's see if I can just freeform this other road as well. Yeah, that works. That totally works. Uh, so yeah, this'll just be... Just a whole bunch of, uh, of industry, I guess. 